Okay, welcome everybody to our October PTA membership meeting. It's good to see you all here this evening. Um, our agenda for this evening is our call to order, which is taking place right now at 7.03 p.m. Our officer reports will occur, then our icebreaker will happen, then we'll have our committee updates, a word from Principal Johnson, any unfinished and new business, announcements, and closing. Okay, up first, um, we have our secretary with our minutes. Minutes were sent out to members um, in advance of the meeting just to call for any amendments or corrections. All right, those are approved as presented then. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have a new teacher liaison. We now have a little teacher in the mix, and that's Miss Baker. I will let her take a minute to. Um, talk to you all about her excitement to be in this new role and let you ask her any questions if you have any. I'm here. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Okay. Ms. Baker, do you, or Ms. Danette, do you want to Say anything about yourself for those who may not know you. I know. Um, I have. Uh... uh oh, you're muted. There, back. Oh. Yes, you're back. Okay. okay, sorry. Um, I have Montessori training, birth to three, three to six, six to nine, nine to twelve. Um, my two adult daughters are both Montessori students. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, no, nope. you're good. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the team. We appreciate you. Thank you. Could we get a brief uh, understanding of what the role is and what she'll be doing? Okay. So Ms. Baker will be serving on our executive board as a staff member to help facilitate things between the PTA and the staff, the teachers. Um, so any of the teacher needs or concerns or questions that they have, uh, they'll go through Ms. Baker and anything that we need to bring back to the teachers, like there's sometimes there's things that we need to coordinate with the teachers. Um, she's our go-between, she will be our mode of communication. Um, and so anything that needs to be brought up at a staff meeting or um, anything that's going between the two channels, she is our conduit. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, if there's no further questions, then up next is our Parent Leadership Network. Um, our parent ambassador, Heather, is on the line. So I will let her um, talk a little bit about that. Hello, welcome. Um, so, for those of you who are on that don't know me, uh, my name is Heather and I have uh, three in the program and I am uh, the ambassador for our school for our parent leadership network. And so we have our upcoming um, PLN kickoff coming up on October uh, 16th from 10 a.m. to 1130. And this is going to be hosted via Zoom. Um, I encourage any parents that are interested in um, looking for different leadership skills or other ways to connect with parents, um, information through the district, to come check this out. It's an amazing opportunity. I'm very grateful that I took it, um, I think, three years ago now. I lost track of a year in there. Uh, but lots of opportunity. Um, and from, you know, I think it's it's my belief that we're all, we're all um, already parent leaders, um, but this gives us so much like an opportunity for more training if you're interested and also helps us continue to build that network of support throughout um, our school and be connected to uh, the district and knowing what's going on and how to continue to make us a whole. So 
Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else. I know this, um, we do have at this upcoming one on October 16th, we have a motivational speaker, Dwayne Bryant. And our theme for this kickoff for uh, this year is gonna be, hold on buddy, equitable um, family partnership. So um, if anybody is interested in joining that, I'm sure we can get the link up um, for joining on the page and then also, um, I'm always a resource for our school and for any parents that want more information just on PLN. If you cannot um, attend this event, but want more information and want to know how to be involved, please, by all means, reach out to me. So, Thank you, Heather. Yeah. We put the link in the chat too, and we'll send out the flyer as well. Um, Perfect. Also, one thing that is also a big plus with PLN because it's linked through the district, it allows you to serve on committees. So because of my work with Leadership Network, I was on um, the committee. Oh. So it gives you access to administrators as well. So thank you for being our ambassador, Heather. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Carmen. Okay. Next on the agenda are our open chair positions. So this, at this time, we would love to have anybody who may be interested in serving in our two open roles. We currently have our co-chair position for the Family Involvement um, Committee with Stephanie. And then we have our co-chair for communications that would be working hand in hand with Liz. So if you are interested, just throw your name in the chat. We would love to have you join our executive board. Okay, next up is our incorporation of our additional classrooms. So as you may know, this year we added on some more early learners into our building. Um, so we initially were going to um, bring FRAT into our PTA, but we weren't sure of the status of FRAT's PTA. However, at this time, I have been in contact um, and they do have a functional PTA, so we won't be extending membership into our PTA because they do have a functioning PTA. So the members of the FRAT 4K class um, will still be linked to their own school PTA. However, we do have the Gizi classroom with Ms. Petska and we would like to um, incorporate them into our PTA just as we did for Peacock. Um, so at this time, I would love to entertain a motion to incorporate Gizzi's 4K class with Ms. Pesca into our PTA. Elizabeth Barnes makes a motion to incorporate the Gizzi classroom the same way we incorporated Peacock. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Now that we have the motion and the second, are there any questions? I have a question for Frat. So. Um, we will still have lots of school related communications to go out. Will we still support those communications? We will, um, because they can still take part in all the things that are going on in our building and we want them um, to be as inclusive as we can with their classroom. Great. They just won't have to formally join our PTA. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Do we know for how long? the Gizzi classroom will be in our building? We don't. So that's why we would do it just the same way we did Peacock. So every year, um, what happens is if they're in the building, every membership that comes in from that classroom, we make a line item for them that, that contributes $10 to that line item for them to have any needs or anything like that for their classroom. And it does not roll over. So it's a earmarked line item that ends at the end of the year. So if they don't come back, that line item goes away. Thanks. You're welcome. Any further questions? Okay, then we're ready to call for the vote. Carmen, are we gonna do that in the chat? Um, this one, because it's a change to, it's a considerable change, we should do a voice vote on this one. Okay, so just for oh, wait, everybody. Colin has his hand up, sorry. I just was wondering, uh, with the Geese class, will you send out um, uh, memberships to the parents in that yes. class? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So for PTA members, paying members, I'm going to run down the roster of who I've seen um, in attendance. If I get to the end and I haven't called your name, it, please speak up and let me know. Um, I'm just going to start right at the top. Um, Carmen, you don't get a vote, correct? Because you brought the motion. Okay. Correct. Unless there's a so, tie. Um, Danette Baker? Yes. I'm voting yes. Yes. Nicole Kosnick? Yes. Anissa Dunn? Yes. Stephanie Faggy? Okay. April Garcia Witten. Yes. Miss Janice. Yes. Karen Hardcastle. Yes. Robin Holmes. Alicia Jarrett? Yes. Lisa Johnson? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Suzanne Christophe? Yes. Kelly Ladd? Yes. Angel Maris? Yes. Colin McKenna? Yes. Carrie Mori? Yes. Jacqueline Ostomies? Yes. Ms. Palin? Yes. Evan Rios? Yes. All right, did I miss any PTA members? Kat entered late. I don't know if you- Yes, said. I'm here, I'm sorry. Kat, do you know what we're voting on? No, I, I don't, I just entered. Okay. We, we are voting to incorporate the Gizi classroom into our PTA the same way that we incorporated the Peacock classrooms. Oh, sure, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, anybody I missed? All right, that motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Next up is Nicole with the Treasurer's Report. Good evening. So you guys were all sent out the treasurer report that ended on 924. So we started out the month with $3,420.96. We had $683.66 in expenses. We brought in $619.63, which left us with $3,356.93 at the end of the period for September. At this time, I'd like to call for a motion to approve the treasurer's report as presented. I move that we accept the treasurer's report as presented. I'll second. Okay, so in the chat, if you will vote please, aye for yes, nay for no, or abstain. Motion carries. Thank you. So now we're going to go over the revised budget, and this will be a voice vote. But before we do that, I'm going to run over the rules real quick of how to do a voice vote. So first, the chair will call for a motion. Any paying member of the PTA can then offer a motion. You would say, I make it your name and make a motion to approve the treasurer's revised report as presented. And then I would call for a second motion and any paying member can be a second. Then after that, I would repeat the motion and call for a debate, so we would open it up for any discussion that anybody has. Once the discussion is over, we'll call for a vote. Liz will then go down the list of the PTA roster and everybody will get to vote, I nay, or abstain. And once the votes are tallied, we will announce the results of the vote. So I am going to bring it up. We're not going to go over it again because we went over it last month and you guys were all sent for it. So at this time, I'd like to call for a motion to approve the revised budget as presented. 
I make a motion to approve the revised 2021-2022 budget as presented. A second. Okay, so now we'll open it up. Does anybody have any questions about the budget that we went over last month and that you guys were sent? Okay, hearing and seeing none. Then at this time, we will open it up for a vote. Liz, will you do the vote for me? All right, same drill. Let's see how fast we can get through it. Carmen Harris. Aye. <laughs> Danette Baker. Aye. I'm voting aye. Anissa Dunn. Aye. Oops. Stephanie Fahey. April Garcia Witten. Aye. Ms. Giannis. Aye. Karen Hardcastle. Aye. Robin Holm. Aye. Kat Jacobson. Aye. Alicia Jarrett. Aye. Lisa Johnson. Aye. Suzanne Christopete. Aye. Kelly Lab. Aye. Angel Maris. Aye. Colin McKenna. Aye. Carrie Mori. Aye. Jacqueline Ostmies. Aye. Melissa Pallon. Aye. And Evan Rios. Aye. All right, did I miss any PTA members? All right, that motion's approved. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Okay, next up is our breakout rooms. We will be for today doing our icebreaker and breakout rooms where we will discuss our favorite things for fall. Um, so you can pick a favorite scent, you can pick a favorite sound, you can pick a favorite color, you can pick a favorite flavor or dessert or drink, whatever suits your fancy. But um, we want to take this time to share why we do or maybe don't love fall. And we will have five minutes together in our spaces. So I will open up the rooms now. And so at the bottom of your screen, um, you will see the breakout rooms. So go ahead and enter. Well, I hope everyone had great fall discussions. <clears throat> it's my favorite season of the year. So yay for fall. We all back. All right, guys, so I'm the first of the committees to go. This is, I'm Jacqueline Ostemies, and I am chair for the um, classroom parents. And we are in full swing of working on staff appreciation. So throughout the year, we are going to be gifting uh, each of the staff um, little things like what you see here in the picture. So thank yous with candy and uh, gift cards. And we had our first with the custodians. Uh, earlier this month. And then uh, my other item is I want to call out for some more parents to join our committee. We're looking for some room parents. Um, so we have, uh, we're structured with primaries and backups. And right now for primaries, we're looking for Lockfeld, Petska, Sandoval, Clemmy, and Belts. Uh, and then our backups, we're looking for Danette, uh, Mrs. Bray, the fourth grade class, uh, Clemmy, Lockfeld, Sandoval, and Pesca. So we would welcome anybody who's interested in stepping up. We're looking for folks who can help us um, support the classrooms and, and whatever they need, if they need laundry done, if they need um, some crafts cut out prior to a school project or um, just some uh, general 
PTA support, we would just love to have you join us. That's it for me. Hey everyone, I am uh, Liz Barnes on behalf of the Communications Committee. Um, just a reminder about our mailing list. If you are not a PTA member, but you'd still like to be included on PTA um, our mailings, uh, uh, sign up for our mailing list. I'll put the link in the chat. Um, PTA members, you're already a part of it, so you don't need to take that extra step. So just a plug, um, we'll help keep you up to date. That's all, thanks. Hi, I'm Kelly. My family and I are new to the Montessori this year. Definitely super excited to be in this new chair position. We, the Community Involvement Committee has a ton of community outreach events for the year that we are going to do. I am super excited. If you want to get involved, please come join our committee. The first event that we are doing this year is our case. CAA, the Racine Kenosha Community Action Agency Holiday Baskets. Um, right now, they are collecting applications for families for the baskets. So if you go online or call their phone number from 8.30 to 3 p.m., you can sign up for one of those baskets. Applications run from October 4th through December 10th. We will begin collecting donations for those baskets come October 29th through, through November 29th. So those uh, donations, you can go on Member Hub in order to donate. We are trying to get a goal of $450, $450 this year, potentially beyond that, to try to support 10 families. We will also be doing a giving tree for children, um, presents that we could donate with more information coming on that later on. And I think that's all I have. Up next is Stephanie. I think she's still on the line. I am. Okay, so for our pumpkin bash, we have moved to an all virtual format. And just with all of our changing guidelines with school um, and having people on site at the school situation. Uh, so then we're running it very similarly to how it was done last year. We'll just have people upload pictures of their pumpkins. And thank you, Liz, put the form in the chat. Um, and then we'll do voting on the pumpkins uh, with fun prizes. We do, I, I would love a co-chair and we have a meeting coming up on Monday at six o'clock. So if anybody has some ideas or input on the rest of our events for the year, we are, in the process of revamping a little bit because we were hoping to have our December ugly sweater contest in person and uh, family fun night in February in person. And it looks like we are gonna have to switch to some sort of virtual event for those as well. So anybody who is excited and has lots of ideas, we would love to have you um, on the committee. And that brings us back to me. So I am looking for any volunteers who wanna join the finance committee. We reconcile the books every month. It would help me out to have somebody else take a look at this stuff. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I'd be really happy to have you. Okay, so next up is fundraising. Unfortunately, um, Miss Missy couldn't be here this evening with us, so I'm going to present on her behalf. 
Um, I just wanted everyone to know that we're really excited about the spirit wear. Um, the link is in the chat. If you haven't already purchased your spirit wear, please go on and do so. Um, with your purchases, we are able to collect um, some fees. 5% of every purchase is going back to the PTA. We currently have raised $54. So I'm very excited about that. So yay, yay team. And we're going to look very fabulous because the spirit wear is with our new school logo. So please get all the new logo that you can. Next up, we have our restaurant night tomorrow at Dragon Pit Barbecue. Go on. The link is in the chat and make your orders now. Um, it starts from 7 a.m. and runs until 6 p.m. Um, so they, you can pick a time slot and you can make your order now. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. And the food is delicious. The chef is a personal friend. We went to high school together and I love Chef Emerson. So I think you will love his food as well. Um, then we have our brews, booze, and bingo. That event is happening at the end of the month paired with our fundraiser with Timers Beverage Center. So you can get your alcohol and get your bingo cards. It's $15 for the night. Um, we will get... Um, profit on that as well. So hopefully you can join us. Um, tickets are already available for you in Member Hub. So you can go on and grab your bingo cards now and join us at the end of the month for some bingo fun. And Miss Missy will be our caller for the evening. So that shall be very entertaining and funny. And we have our November fundraiser. So we are calling on our members to help us decide what we should do for November. Are you team Marcus gift cards or are you team Usborne books? Please go into the chat and cast your votes now. We will have the survey open until next week, Wednesday. But if you could start the ball rolling now, it would really help us decide which direction to go for our fundraiser. Carmen, could I ask a question? Sure. Um, the booze, booze and bingo, which is expertly named the, I, the, to get the discount or the application at timers for it to apply, was there that limited time period or how does that work? Um, it's on the, it's on the day of the event. So I will have more of that in the mid month email. So you can see how all of that works there. So it's going to be the same evening as the bingo night. Okay. On the 29th. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, I made, a pretty, I made a pretty survey and everybody's just putting their answers in the chat. <laughs> Carmen? It's all good. Yes, Angel. Do we get, um, what's the, how much do we receive back from both of those? Is there a big difference? What do you mean? Um, like the fundraising aspect of it, what percentage does the PTA get back? Oh, we get 10%, we get 10 on Dragon Pit, we get 5% on the Spirit Wear, and I can't remember how much for timers. I meant more so for um, the movie theater Usborn. Oh, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't know. I We did the movie tickets the my 3K year, so two years ago, and we did Usborn last year, but I it, it was dependent on how much we sold. Oh, okay. So if we hit a certain dollar value, we'll get a certain percentage back. I do not remember with the Marcus gift cards how much the percentage we get. Can we try and get an answer for that and put it in the mid-month? Sure. Great. I think it more maybe more importantly than the percentage is how well did each of those do? Which they one was a stronger did, fundraiser? They both Pretty did cool? about the same. Okay. They were both really good. Like there, either one was a money maker. Like we made right. a lot of money off of us, born and we made a lot of money off of the movie tickets. It's just a personal preference at this point. Okay. So next up is Alicia. Hi, my name is Alicia Jarrett and I am the chair of the grants committee. So, um, so far, I have three grants that I either applied for or actually are in the process of applying for. 
The first one is the Wild Ones Grant that's actually due next month. And um, I'm working with in conjunction with the Greenhouse to get uh, seeds for native plants and native seeds for projects that engage youth. Um, right now, I just recently applied for the Wisconsin State PTA, um, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and that is for the Watchdogs program we're trying to implement at Goodland. Um, I am going to send them an addendum because I needed some more information, uh, background information about our families. Um, and in the national PTA one, I completed that and submitted for the PTA Connected Smart Talk. And I'm putting this in the chat right now. You can actually go on there and see what Smart Talk is about. So it's pretty much just trying to engage our families and our kids about um, social, media, social media etiquette. So um, because now they are at an age that they want to talk to their friends on like messenger kids and stuff like that. So like what to do if there's bullying on, on um online and pretty much just trying to get our kids prepared for that world because it's coming. Um, and the Office Depot one, I believe it's the same thing as the PTA Connected Smart Talk, not the same thing, but it's the same grant. You just check off two of those boxes. Um, I am going to put in a call like some of the other committee members for um, if anyone wants to join the, the grants committee. Mostly I need help with getting some background information. So if anyone is more familiar with um, our school culture, that would be great. Um, even like getting some information from families or like some quotes from families, some, some grants like that um, to kind of see what our community is made up of. Um, so yeah, so if anyone is interested, um, just uh, I believe I can shoot you my email. So just shoot me an email and um, we can go from there. Hey everyone, um, I'm from the Greenhouse Committee. So um, we had been uh, doing a little bit of a waiting game for about a month because we had a lot of ideas, but we needed permissions for things before we could move forward with those ideas. So I was finally able to get a hold of kind of the head honcho in the district that kind of makes some of these big decisions of whether we can collect some of these donated items and storage and all that. So I'm still waiting on a few final approvals, um, specifically because we'd like to collect like logs and some tires and things for the green play space specifically. So I'm still waiting on an approval for that. He was supposed to get back to me this week with it. So hopefully by tomorrow. Um, but our, our idea that we're hoping to get involved soon here, um, and we'll be sharing that out as soon as um, everything's voted on and approved, um, would be to have a fall recycling drive. And that would be hopefully at the end of October. Again, we'll we'll solidify the date and, and get that out as soon as everything um, is approved. But um, that's when we would be collecting. We have a wish list started of things for not only the garden, but building the greenhouse out of recycled materials and recycled plastic bottles specifically, um, as well as some recycled materials, like I said, like the logs and tires and things for um, the play space. We do have something secured um, already, which is exciting. Um, we have engineering and construction pathway students at CASE who are going to kind of help us out. And so the goal is they will be um, kind of designing mock-ups of what this could look like. And then we want to have like the students and staff vote for like their favorite, you know, greenhouse concept and um, playground concept and then they'll start building it hopefully over the winter for it to be ready in the spring. So that's, you know, if all things happen the way we want the universe to work, um, that's that's the goal. And very soon, hopefully we'll get that messaging out. So we'll start collecting those plastic bottles, um, which because we'll, we're going to need about 3000 of them to build the size of greenhouse that we'd like to build. So that's kind of where we're at with that. We do have a committee meeting this Sunday at six o'clock if anyone would like to join, because if we do have this fall recycling drive, we're definitely gonna need a lot of help with, um, with that day. Thank you, Carrie. All those details will come out in our mid-month email with like all the other extra fun things we've been hearing about tonight. <laughs> so thank you. Um, Colin has a question, I think. 
Uh, Terry Mori, um, I could put my name in the chat and email. Um, whatever you have, put the wish list and the plastic bottles, whatever size you need in the plastic bottles, if they're pop bottles or melt bottles, I don't know what you need. Um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Or if you send email me a wish list, um, Lutheran Church of Resurrection could help you out, our congregation. Oh, awesome. The pastor could get you out to the members. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, as soon as we get that approved, I'll um, I'll send that to you. We're going to make a flyer with the wish list and, and specifics on the water bottles because there are some that we... Um, don't want so yeah I'll, I'll make sure to be specific about what kinds of bottles we need to so i will put my email in the chat for you then. awesome thank you so much and then if you want me to join you on the one night that you said i could awesome thank you Next up is our membership share out. Unfortunately, Carolyn couldn't be here this evening, so I will be sharing on her behalf. Um, I just wanted you to know that you all are amazing and fabulous. We have now increased our membership over last year's membership. We currently have 82 members of the PTA. Yay, us. Um, we are currently getting ready um, to continue our membership campaign goal, which we are hoping to hit 100 this year. Um, if you are not a current member and would like to join us, we would love to have you. Not only that, there's an incentive going on till the end of the month. Any new members will be entered into a drawing for a gift card. So that's exciting, right? And you could see your name in lights just like Janet did previously. Um, and then the next thing is our watchdogs program. We are trying to be more inclusive of our male um, father figures in our school community. So we are attempting to raise funds so that we can get a starter kit to get that program going. So if you have a desire to see our male membership express their love for our children, please donate to the watchdogs. The link is in the chat. We would love your donations. We currently have raised $110 towards our goal of 500. So we have quite a ways to go. So any dollars, any change, anything you can give would be very helpful at this time. Does anyone have any questions about our membership goal or campaign or the watchdogs? Okay. Hearing none, we can go on to the masquerade. I think Angel was on the line. Oh, I'm sorry. I was pretty quiet. Um, so yes, we are looking for um, volunteers for our committee. If you are interested in, um, you know, getting touching base with community members, um, you know, if you're crafty, if you like event planning, we would definitely love to have you guys on our committee. It's a big job. Um, you know, it's a lot of prep work, so we would love to have you. Um, and we are going to be asking the community and uh, our, uh, um, and, and anyone in the school that has connections to businesses, um, if you're if you have talents, um, we're going to be asking for donations for our event. Um, we have a meeting coming up on Monday at 8 p.m. So if anyone's interested in um, attending that, feel free. Um, you can reach out to me, Miss Ami, Carmen. We can all get you logged into that. Um, I apologize, I was not aware I was going to be speaking tonight, so. I was not prepared, but any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, Angel. Um, next up, we have our nominating committee. We are currently on the hunt for a chair and for committee members for nominating. As you know, 
this is year two of this administration. So we will be having an election at the end of the school year. Um, so we need some people to help us vet people to be placed on a slate to be nominated to run the PTA next year and the year after that. So if you are interested in being part of searching out and finding good people to continue the leadership roles of our PTA, all of our officers are up for election next year. Um, well, at the end of the year for next year. Um, we would love to connect with you and walk you through that process of finding new leadership. So if you are interested in nominating, you can throw your name in the chat and just write nominating after it. Up next is Robin. Hello. Um, the Reflections Committee might better be named sort of the Art Committee, I think, at Montessori. Um, we are going to be launching the Reflections Program, which is um, a local, state, and national um, competition. It's an arts competition where kids from our school can submit their projects to the Reflections Committee at our school, and then we'll display them and show them off, and then um, we'll submit them to the next level of competition, et cetera, et cetera. But we are also really, really thrilled to um, have launched just last year the Art Club at Montessori. There's a ton of excitement and interest in Art Club. Uh, Kat and Suzanne have been an incredible and very flexible committee <laughs> so far this year and we've just had an outpouring of people who are um, offering to volunteer for events and be present and donate supplies and um, we have a little bit of a grant to make a mural for the school as well so we are really on a roll we're looking at a November makeup in-person makeup session for from our October one and then we definitely have our December 3rd art club meeting as well and we have just scheduled our next committee meeting and it's going to be Monday October 18th at 6 p.m on zoom so I will have that up on member hub for those of you that are already on there, but if you're not, um, shoot me an email and I will get you on my list. Yes, and we had a great virtual session. We had a blast. It was so fun. We love making art with kids. It is not too late, Stephanie. No, get in here. <laughs> Next up is Principal Johnson. Good evening, everyone. I don't know if I have an update since last time we met. I apologize, I'm losing my voice. Um, we are still working on our K-8 expansion. I'm fairly confident it will happen at this point. We just have to um, tighten up some, some loose ends. And one of those was making sure that we can be fully staffed and finding a pathway for, for already employed RUSD teachers to become Montessori trained. So I am still in meetings um, to, to solidify that. Um, I know I was, I, my goal was to have an answer for all of you before open enrollment period. Not that, you know, any, anyone would be switching next year. Um, but I, I really want to make sure parents have a, an honest answer about where the, the direction of our school is going. And so I'm hoping to have that now by, you know, November. Um, if we have any 3K Montessori, um, I'm sorry, 3K um, parents on, teachers did send out a, a um, interest and um, a packet from this 
uh, study that I think it's AIR is, is conducting, I apologize. And so I think we are up to about 28 participants, but I'm really encouraging parents of, of, of K3 students in our program, in our school to, to participate. It is, I think, a two-year study, so they will follow the student, and then they also have a group who are not in Montessori, and they follow those and kind of track how, how they're doing. Um, the Dr. Lillard, who conducts, is kind of the head of this research. I've used her research when I've done my own research, um, and so we really want to be involved in this study and, and have it impactful to, to hopefully grow other public Montessori um, programs. Um, so I'll probably send out a reminder in our Wednesday wireless. Again, I think we have about 28 um, respondents. So, and at this point, I think they're offering like a $15 gift card, whether you say yes or no, um, they're just looking for more people to participate. So we're excited about that. Um, picture day is always hectic. Um, you know, it always throws the students off of it with their schedule, but it, it went quite smoothly. We were behind a little bit. Um, and I apologize. I said I was, I, we do have a picture makeup day and I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, and so I can put it's, that on. Lisa, it's November 8th. Thank you, Ms. Clerk. <laughs> so, so it is November 8th. Thanks, Nicole. Um, and we'll be putting that obviously in the Wednesday wireless and also, you know, the November newsletter as well. Montessori mornings are continuing. Um, I think this Montessori morning, the one coming up is going to be about absorbent mind. Always a classic Montessori. Uh, Maria Montessori had a whole thick book on the absorb in mind, but I try to condense it to a nice 45 minute presentation. So hopefully you all can join us for Montessori mornings. They will be virtual um, until hopefully we can we can be in person, which is what we intended um, when we started it last year. But the the first one was um, pretty well attended, so I was excited about that. Again, parent education nights are more about parts of the classroom, and those are typically led by teachers. Montessori Mornings is led by me, and we talk more about Montessori theory and the reason why we do things in the classroom. So um, my vision for Goodland Montessori for 21-22, my big work is that K-8 expansion and getting that hopefully solidified. And um, from the day I stepped into the building, that has been my vision. Um, my first meeting with the superintendent and Amy, um, when they said, oh, we're going to go K-5, I said, oh, yeah, no, we need to go K-8. And so that, that has always been on my plate, and they know that. And so that's really my big vision for Goodland Montessori. It's also kind of sustaining what we have, but yet growing our upper grades, right? We've had a pretty stable staff since um, since the, the start of the school. And, and, you know, that's a pretty good sign of, of a healthy environment. So that's great. But yet, um, I still want to get more Montessorians, more, more teachers trained to be Montessori teachers. And so that's another vision of mine is working with some training centers, um, so that when we have teachers that are interested, that we can um, start them in a program right away. Um, also, it, it, with that, it's sort of just staying authentic to Montessori education. Um, so our new teacher in, in fourth grade, I'll make that announcement now, we do have a um, new teacher coming in in fourth grade. Um, Yes, Karen, and I do believe I posted the last one on there. Um, she is a, a teacher coming from Racine Unified. We have been in contact since I think my first year. We've talked probably two, three times a year. She's very passionate about being Montessori trained and she's starting next week, so that's great. 
Um, but again, that is part of my vision is really training teachers so that when and if we have openings and as we grow that we have, we stay true to authentic Montessori and we have Montessori trained teachers. Rachel's been doing an excellent job, I have to say. Um, and I'm extremely grateful to our lower elementary staff for going up and giving lessons to our fourth graders. So, so yeah, attracting and retaining staff is, is a vision I, you know, have as well. So that's about it. Thank you, Principal Johnson. We appreciate you. Next up is a call for new business. If you have any issues or concerns or things that you would like added to our agenda for next month, now's your time um, to let us know if you have any questions or anything you would like added to the next agenda. Okay, hearing none, on to our announcements. Um, so we have a great fundraiser that's set up um, for Dragon Pit tomorrow. So like I said, get your orders in now. Things will sell out. They always sell out. Um, we have our Montessori mornings coming up on 1021. Um, we have our parent education night coming up on 1026. Those are always delightful. Um, if you really have no idea what your students are doing, in their classrooms. This is a good way to learn all the major concepts um, in each of the areas. So please stay tuned and try to be there for that. And then all of our committee meetings are listed on the right. Um, we did link all of the links to all of the Zooms for all of the meetings. Um, a few have changed, um, but most of them are accurate and correct. Um, so if you have any desire to join any committees, you can always go on Member Hub and join um, Oh, the focus, I think, is practical life this time. Is that right, Principal? Yep. So yeah, yes. practical life is going to be the, the topic and discussion for parent night. No problem, Angel. So yeah, so everyone feel free to go on Member Hub and join any hub. You can go to Join Hub. You can read a description of each of the committees. We would love to have you, all of our committees. Um, have fun. And our next PTA meeting is November 4th at 7 p.m. right here on the same Zoom link as tonight. And we stayed on time. Yay! Adjourned at 8. Oh, Carmen. Yeah. Yeah, Colin. Um, I was going to mention if you can do something uh, for that dragon pit, maybe uh, uh, you could put the on the P Racine PTA Council page on the Racine PTA Council, and then they see it for okay. tomorrow. Okay. So I would definitely put it on there. Okay. I can share the post to that to that um, Facebook group as well. Thank you for yeah, the idea, put Colin. Put it on there. Yeah. Thank you for the idea, Colin. Well, everyone have a great evening and thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night.